What's going on, YouTube family? It's your boy, Mike Macklin, a.k.a. Money Mike, the Financial Thanos, because I'm snapping my fingers and I'm turning your financial problems to dust. Hey, I want to welcome you guys to my page. If this is your first time tuning into the page here, checking me out, hey, I ask that you please, please consider hitting that uh, subscribe button and also uh, hitting the notification bell so you can know exactly when I drop new content. And I'm normally dropping it every day, so you'll be getting a lot of notifications. And also, if you enjoy the video, please do me another huge favor and smash that like button so YouTube knows I'm putting out some great stuff and they'll show more people my content. Now, today, what I want to look at is a video. Um, I haven't watched this video. Every Tuesday and Thursday is what I do is I, I look at different videos talking about money strategies and things like that to kind of get you guys inside my head about what I'm learning and also what I teach other folks. So um, today I'm watching a video talking about how to keep more of your money in your pocket. Now, the reason I chose this video is because this is a part of my April's financial spring cleaning. What I'm trying to help people do is to um, kind of push that reset button, much like, you know, when you're um, spring cleaning the house, you know, you deep clean, you get down in places you normally don't clean, you start moving stuff you normally don't move. Well, this is what we're doing here. We're starting to do some of the things we normally don't do so that we can get a better financial house and get it nice and clean. So we're going to check this out. At the end of this, I'll kind of add my own insights. I'll be taking notes as I'm doing this, and we'll, you'll, we'll learn together. So I think this is going to be a great video. I've watched some other videos by this gentleman, and he's done a great job so far, so I'm sure he won't disappoint. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this thing. Let me make sure all the volume and everything is looking good. And we're going to go ahead and get started here. I think it's good on that. So let's go ahead and figure out how to keep more of our money in our pocket. Hey guys, sorry, I'm Bryson here. And today I'm going to tell you exactly how do you keep more money in your pocket. And by the way, the average person might make 30000 or for example, 50 k every single year. But in reality, oh, money in they still have an issue when it comes to keeping that money in their pocket. And by the way, this video is about telling the truth. Not to me, but basically to yourself. So I'll start first, okay? When I was 19 years old, I hit rock bottom. Meaning I fell as low as I possibly could when it came to my money problems. Meaning I was 19 years old. I was making around 60 bucks every single week. And I had around 2 k in credit card debt and around $13,000 in student loan debt. And you might say, Tommy, well, you dug yourself into a hole you can't get out of. However, I dug that hole while things were going great in my life, okay? I was making around 2000 a little bit more, a little bit less. Some months were really good, some months were really bad, whatever. But I was making a decent amount of money. And during those days, that's when I went ahead and took out all that debt got the credit card stuff, and I started just spending money left and right, buying whatever I actually wanted. And when things went wrong, that's when I hit rock bottom. It's not like I hit rock bottom and I stayed there, but no, I hit rock bottom, and that's when I realized, that, hey, I have a problem, and I need to fix this. So today, I'll tell you exactly how we're from being that kid at 19 years old to now saving and investing more than 95% of my money Jesus. every single time I get paid. A big difference, okay? And the whole idea is, well, if you make a lot of money or not a lot, how are you supposed to keep more of this money in your pocket? And today, I'll tell you exactly how to do that. If you guys are new here, I post videos every single day. So you also subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. And on top, I also destroy the like button. Now, the very first thing, guys, is this, okay? Everything in life is step by step. You don't wake up one day and you're 100K in debt and all of a sudden you're going to the paycheck. No, usually it happens step by step. You get mm -hmm. one credit card. You get your student loan debt. You get a car loan. You get a mortgage or you're paying crazy rent, whatever it is, right? But step by step, your money keeps dwindling. And before you know it, you're living paycheck to paycheck and you don't know what to do. The same thing goes, for example, with diet, right? You eat a little bit more, you don't exercise, and before you know it, three years later, now you're overweight by 30 pounds. And you don't know how it happened. The answer is, it happens in increments. It happens mm -hmm. step by step. And the point is, I want to show you exactly what is wrong with what you're doing. That way, you can face it and basically fix those issues and before it actually gets a lot worse, okay? Because you never know what's gonna happen. Things can get worse than you actually think they can actually get, okay? So now what you're going to need to do, guys, is basically you're going to have to create a budget. 
A budget is going to be your GPS to where you're actually heading. If you don't have a budget, it's impossible to fix your problem because basically you don't know what the problems actually are. So what you want to do is basically list all of your incomes and then basically all of your expenses and find out exactly where your money is actually going. In my case, when I did this, my money was going towards clothes, sneakers, Chipotle, ice cream, just buying straight nonsense, okay? But for you, I recommend you go on your phone and check your statements. That way you know exactly where your money is actually headed. So step one, make a budget. How do you do this? You want to draw a T column. Remember, for example, like I'm back in high school or if you're in high school, whatever it is, the answer is on one side, put your income, the other side, put your expenses, mm -hmm. and you want to list all of your expenses and all of your income. Usually, it's going to be one or two incomes, okay? Then you want to add them up, okay? So your incomes might be, for example, 3000 Expenses might be, for example, 2000 or whatever it is, right? And then what you want to do is subtract it. So if I make $3,000 in income, right, mm -hmm. and then minus my expenses of $2,000, well, in reality, that means I have an extra $1,000. But for a lot of people, they might be spending way more than they actually make. And that is going to be a massive issue, a massive problem. However, we are going to fix it. The whole goal is to find out exactly what the problem is. So then we go ahead and fix it. Okay. So once you find this out, I want you to circle all the expenses that you don't need to have in your life. If you don't need it, get rid of it. You don't need to have Apple Music and Spotify and Netflix all at the same time. The answer is no. Get rid of everything. What the goal is to fix the hole you dug this way, we can actually get out of that hole and actually see the light of day. That's the entire goal here. So everything you don't need, take it off. Take it off, take it off, take it off. Cancel everything you don't need. That way, you have a lot more income to play around with to do what we need to do next. On top of that, there is one more thing I also want you to do that involves math. And that's basically calculating exactly what your net worth actually is. You know, like Warren Buffett like has a $90 billion net worth. Well, we're going to find exactly what your net worth actually is. And the way we do that is by basically you have your assets, the things you actually own, debt-free, and then you want to minus it from your liabilities, okay? And that's going to equal your net worth, okay? And now you're basically, hey, what do I owe money on? For example, I have a car, so I owe money on that. I have credit card debt. I have a personal loan debt. I have student loan debt. I have a mortgage. All this stuff are just liabilities. So usually, say for example, again, guys, okay, let's use a calculator here. If you have $10,000 in assets, maybe like you actually have a car that you actually own. You might have, for example, equipment, whatever it is, right? And you want to minus it from your liabilities, all of your loans, all of your debts, everything you owe money on, right? Things you actually don't own. Okay, minus maybe like fifty thousand dollars, you might be having a net worth that's actually negative. Maybe negative forty k, negative twenty k, negative ten k, negative hundred dollars, whatever it is. If you're actually in the positive, then great. But if you're not, again, do not feel bad. The goal is to know exactly where we are, so then we can go ahead and fix it. So right. now we know your budget, right? Your income your expenses, how much money you have left over. That's basically like your cash flow in a way. Yeah. On top of that, we also know your net worth, which is awesome. But now we need a financial plan to go ahead and fix all this stuff. Now, the plan I use is called Financial Freedom Steps. And by the way, when you have expenses, the goal is to have your expenses as low as 70% or maybe lower to 50% if you actually want to be very frugal and save a ton of money. So your expenses should not be more than 70% of your income. That's the whole goal. This okay. way you can save a lot more money. Now, by the way, this might mean, hey, I got to move from where I live because basically it's too expensive. Now, here's the entire plan that there we actually want to take action on. Now, the first step is going to be you want to get rid of all the debt you actually have. It's no investing, none of that stuff. No. The answer is we want to get rid of all the debt we have while also building concrete habits. How do you do this? The answer is we want to focus on six accounts. The first one is emergencies. So when things go wrong, we have money there and don't need to go into credit card debt or personal debt. So you want to save $1,000 before you start this plan. On top of that, you want to have that money separate in another account. And you also, every time you get paid, you want to send over there 1% of your income. Do this automatically by putting on, for example, auto transfers on that account. So when I get paid, for example, $1,000, I want to send over, for example, just 10 bucks to an account, 1%, just to build a habit of saving money for emergencies. On top of that, investments, okay? Investments are important, but right now the priority is going to be on paying off the debt because basically 
debt is going to be costing you a lot more money and we want to get rid of it. Everything except the mortgage, that's all, including student loan debt. We're going to get rid of that. And account number two is going to be investments. Now, this can be, for example, into a Roth IRA, 401k, or for example, a taxable account. It doesn't really matter. But what you want to do is start investing 1% of your income. That's all. And put it to do it automatically. This way, we also build the habit and the system to have your money automatically invested. But Tommy, it's only 1%. The answer is yes. We're only interested in building the habit. The first step overall is going to be to pay off debts and build habits. Investing is a good habit, but our priority is not an investing right now. By the way, I have a portfolio down below if you want to copy it exactly with M1 Finance. Now, the third account is going to be our debt account. Now, we want to pay between 26 to 46% of all our money towards debt, meaning we want to get out of debt as fast as possible using the avalanche method. Meaning, for example, paying the debt with the highest APR first and paying the minimum on all the other accounts, okay? So if I have a credit card that's 90%, pay that credit card off first and then work yourself down and down and down, paying the highest APR debt. This way, we save a lot more money mathematically. And the fourth account, guys, is going to be expenses. Obviously, expenses, you want to keep between 50% to 70%. This way, you're not spending all your money and you have enough money to do this entire plan. But again, this might mean I got to move, I got to sell something, that's the whole idea. Everything you don't need, sell it, get rid of it, okay? Sell everything. That's the whole point here. On top of that, fun. You want to take around 1% of your money and use it towards having fun. Why? So it can remind you that your money can be used for that. You can actually enjoy a little bit of it. But again... Priority here is basically paying off debt. The sixth account, and the last one is going to be charity. Just 1% going to your favorite charity and doing it also automatically. This way, it changes the type of person you actually are at a very deep level. Charity is very, very important. But that's it, guys, okay? First step is you want to pay off all your debts while well, you say, for example, 1K. The second step is basically building a foundation, meaning you want to save after you're debt-free three to six months of emergencies, and that way, when things go wrong again, eventually, you will have enough money to take care of things no matter what. And also, you want to invest between 15 to 25% of your money into that portfolio you already been investing money into. Usually, it's going to be your 401k match with the company first, then, for example, match your Roth IRA, and then, if you have any money left over, into a taxable normal account. That's the idea. So once you're done with this, you have, for example, a foundation. You have emergency accounts, and you also start investing. Now, the third step is going to be lowering your expenses. Now that you have, for example, no debt and also emergencies covered, the answer is you want to go ahead and grab all the extra money you actually have and put it towards saving money for a down payment while you're still investing your money and keeping your expenses low. The goal here is to go out there and buy a house following the 33% rule, meaning this house cannot exceed 33% of your monthly income, including, for example, all the expenses, including taxes, insurance, maintenance, HOA fee, everything. And then you want to go ahead and get it also on a 15-year mortgage. This way, you limit the amount of house you can actually buy, and you buy a house that's decent enough, right, but not too expensive, okay? And you want to put it on a 15-year mortgage because basically, this way, you're going to be done a lot faster. Once you buy that house, right, it's a part of the expenses, which means you're going to have extra money. That extra money should be going towards the mortgage. Usually, it's going to be around 15% of your income. Put that money towards the mortgage extra. That way, you're done a lot faster than 15 years. And by the way, while you're doing this, you also want to be investing between 15 to 25% of your money. This way, when you're done with that, you also have a hefty, bulky investment account. And once you're done with that, guys, the last step is just autopilot. Meaning, hey, I'm debt-free. I have an emergency account. I have a home I actually own, and now all I want to do is keep investing and basically enjoy my money a lot more. So now, fun can go up to 10, 20, 30%. On top of that, for example, charity can go up to 10, 20% also. The idea is now you can go out there, have more fun, and for example, give a lot more money. But overall, that's the full financial plan. But the first step is going to be getting out of debt, building a foundation, lowering your expenses by buying a house. And lastly, getting everything on autopilot. That's the entire goal. And by the way, guys, 
I am working on a full-blown course going through every single detail, but for now, you get everything for free, and that is basically it, guys. Hopefully this helps you keep more money in your pocket. It does not matter how much money you make, only matters how much money you keep. Whether you have 20K or 30K in income, does not matter. The idea is you practice this, and you will become wealthier step by step. That's the overall goal. All right, all right. So, um, this is there was a good video. It was a really good video. A lot of what he's been talking about here in this video um, is things I've been, you know, suggesting to my people when I speak with them already. But just to recap, you have to understand first and foremost that Rome wasn't built in a day. Your financial problems wasn't built in a day. So the financial solution also will not happen in a day. That's the first thing. You have to get that mindset prepared for that storm that's coming. But take faith and take solace in the fact that the storm will end and you can, you know, move forward from that. This is not a, you know, it's over now. So it definitely be something that fixes. Now, the key component of this of, you know, keeping more of your money is you have to know where it's going. See, once you understand where your money is going, then you can start to make those decisions and you start to make those changes necessary. This is where, you know, he mentions, you know, doing a budget for yourself as well as calculating your net worth. These are all things that you you now have a financial picture for yourself. Now you understand where your money is and something great that he mentioned. He mentioned something exactly that I talk about, and that's, you know, circling those transactions in your statement that you know were wants and not needs. And this is how you're going to create money. Most people don't understand wealth is created, it's not earned. And part of creating money is you have to learn to find money inside of those transactions that you don't need. So when you find that, yeah, I did it money, as, as you know, I call it, now you start to say, oh, hey, wait a minute. I actually do got some extra money and now you can learn to put that money to work for you. You can employ that money now. And this is where his financial strategy came into play. Um, he talked about how you want to keep your expenses below 70 percent of your income. Now, this is going to involve some change It's going to involve maybe doing some things differently. Get rid of some things. And a good idea he talked about is maybe you'll start from square square one. Get rid of all that stuff, everything that you can get, all those streaming services, all those, you know, memberships, get rid of all of them. That way now you can just like before when you started from scratch and started slowly getting, you know, these new accounts, you can do the same thing now with getting yourself back right. Get rid of all the stuff you don't need and then you start to accumulate the things that you actually do need and you have a better handle on your money. Now. You can actually get into the plan now of making your money work for you. This is what I typically call asset allocation or meaning giving your money a job. So, you know, he basically outlined how to give all of your money a job and how to automate that. And this is actually a great idea because when you automate, you take the mental portion out of it. You don't give yourself a choice, basically. If you've ever read the book, The Automatic Millionaire by Richard Bach, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't read that book, that's actually a really great book to read. I'm not being paid to tell you that. I'm just giving you my opinion. So that disclaimer is there. But by making it automatic, again, you take the guesswork out of it. You take the mental game out of it and the emotion is now gone and the habits begin to build themselves. He talked about getting the emergency fund. You know, starting to invest a little bit, just a little bit and start to take care of that debt. Get yourself out of debt because this is the second way that you're going to basically create more money. Because now that you're getting out of debt, that's less money that you have to spend each month now. So everything here is leaning back towards keeping that money in your pocket, because once you find out where your money is going and you redirect that money, you reallocate it. Now you're keeping more of the money in your pocket. Now you're able to put that money to even better work by now getting yourself a home, something that you actually own. 
And ownership has a lot of great advantages. One, you get tax advantages from owning a home. A second advantage is you can start to leverage that equity. Now, I won't get too deep into that because this is about saving and creating money right now. But that could be another video that I'll talk about as far as leveraging the value of your home to do a lot of phenomenal things. And, you know, now that you have additional money now, you can actually now, you know, have a bit more fun, you know, knowing that you're knocking out debt, that you have basically little to no debt. So now you're able to have fun and not feel as guilty about it. And that's the great thing about getting your financial house in order. It takes a lot of stress off of you and just makes you feel a lot better about life in general. And it just makes things so much more smooth. Hey, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy my videos in general. Again, if you enjoy the videos I'm putting out, please, please go ahead and hit that like button. Also, subscribe to me and hit that notification bell and you'll know exactly when I drop new content. And also, also, if you would like to work with me, I am a personal financial coach. I can actually sit down and show you a plan to help you get your financial house in order. To do that, you can go to my website, www.moneymike313.com. It's actually showing your screen here in a second. You go to that website, scroll down to the bottom, and you'll click on book an appointment. You can book an, a free 30-minute consultation with me where we'll talk about you, where, where the problems are. We'll talk about establishing a plan to get you all set. And if you decide you'd like to work with me, then by all means, I will be here for you to get you on the right side of this thing. So as I leave, I want to leave you with these words. I love you. God loves you. He smiles when he sees you and he sees you all the time. So he's always smiling. So why aren't we? Hey, you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you for tuning in again. God bless you all. Gone. Damn, I ain't been broken a minute.